Hey there, buddy. Hello, and welcome to Relaxed Mail Reviews. Okay, today I have a, a story for you that leads up to why I got the, uh, the, 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 the piece of gear that I'm going to be reviewing uh, today. Um, so, so get your popcorn out and ready. Um, a couple weeks ago, uh, I actually got to do uh, camping trip number two. This, uh, it was a, just kind of a weekend, uh, week, actually it was a weekday. Uh, I knew I had a couple days off and my son was, uh, also had the same, uh, same two days off and we were like, hey, let's make, let's make a trip out of this. And so decided that me and him were going to get together and we went to go camping. I grabbed all the stuff I had. Uh, he had a couple small items and, uh, we went to go do our camping trip. And so we got uh, got the, got out there um, and uh, found out that our our camping where we went to go camping, you don't have to camp just in the uh, in the little camping area where they've got little fire pits and and picnic tables set up. You can actually go out into this wilderness uh, the wildlife uh, uh, viewing area. And you can do some backwoods camping. And I was like, yeah, man, that's awesome. Let's do that. Um, so my son, a heck of a lot more excited about it. I was like, yeah, let's go back there. <laughs> so um, I figured, you know, just, you know, maybe a quarter mile down the, uh, down a path and we'll find a little opening and we'll call it good. And no, no, he went, you know, three quarters to a mile later, we're <laughs> back in the middle of, of, of nowhere. And... Um, Got everything set up in a windstorm. I'll tell you about the whole uh, camping trip in another video uh, down the road. Um, and come to find out, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we found out that you really need to have one of these guys. This is a folding shovel, <laughs> a camping shovel. You want to have one of these because we got out there and we're we're where I'm at in Oklahoma it's still a lot of, of prairie um, you got a lot more hills it's not tabletop flat like the Texas Panhandle all the way up to uh, South Dakota but it's pretty flat and it's got a lot of prairie grass in there now if you're not sure what prairie if you've never seen prairie grass it can be fairly tall but most of it is very brown and looks dead unless it gets rain and then it turned the rain turns it green overnight I mean it's amazing how quickly it'll turn green on you and um, then as quickly as it turned green and it does a uh, does what it's supposed to it dries out again so it just it uh, it the grass down low to the ground stays green but you the taller stuff is is dead and, and fairly flammable and so when we got to where we wanted to be there's a lot of grass in our camping area, so you can't just set a build a fire right there, right there. Besides, we had wind blowing, so we knew I knew we had to build a, tent, uh, a pit. We had to go down a bit because, well, amazingly, we found the only place in Oklahoma that didn't have any freaking rocks. <laughs> there was none. We looked around all over. We went along. There's a uh, running creek. We went along the creek, and there was not any. Uh, well, we found some some sandstone that was about yay big and yeah there was only like a handful of it it was uh, the most uh less rockiest place i think i've ever been in my life um and so we couldn't use uh couldn't do all, uh, use that uh, we had to find a different way to um to to make a pit didn't have any way of digging so we ended up finding sticks and kind of shaved some stick off so we could jab it into the ground and, you know, and, and break up enough loose uh, dirt that we could scoop it out with our hand. Um, took a lot longer than what it needed to be. Um, so when I got home, I immediately ran to Walmart and I bought this. Now this is the Ozark Trail folding shovel. That's all it is. There's not a model number or anything like that that I have been able to find. Um, and 
at first I was like, all right, well, this will be good for a review. At least I might have, it'll give me a, the view that I am a lot more, you know, objective because uh, I'll finally have something that, you know, is going to kind of have a, a low score. I did not have much faith in the fact that this shovel being made, uh, uh, sold at Walmart would be all that good. Um, a bit surprised. <laughs> I have... Uh, been uh, been playing with this uh, pretty much all day today um, and uh, as you'll see I've made a couple of uh, other segments of this video and as you notice it's sunny here but when I did the videos uh, as I was doing the videos they uh, were a lot uh, a little bit cloudier so uh, so not as harsh in the way of, of, of sunlight but um, I've been, like I said, I've been playing with this all day, thinking that I was going to have, uh, looking and seeing if I could stress the, the weak areas. And the biggest weak area that I have is right here are three rivets. And those rivets are just, you know, they're pretty heavy duty, for, uh, surprisingly. I mean, you've got, you can see that there's uh, two of them here and there's a third one that's behind uh, the... Uh, the 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 tensioner um, but this uh, I figured I could be you know I would uh, do some damage to this thing and I've been digging now our dirt's fairly soft but it's it's uh, there's not uh, it's it, it is fared well in the the above average use that it, this is going to have um, and uh, have uh, receiving uh, on upon using this and playing with uh, this uh, the Ozark trail folding shovel um, I've realized that these puppies are a lot more versatile and a lot more useful than just digging a latrine um, because they are Design like that. One, as you see, you've got to, from what I understand, and I can't, I'm not going to say I know for a fact, but the side, the one portion of this uh, uh, other shovel has just kind of some round bumps. From what I understand, that is supposed to be able to help bust your, bust up uh, uh, harder ground. But also, you've got a saw built into it. All right. And uh, as you're going to see here in a bit, that saw actually is a, it, it does the job. It more bends to the will. That saw, doesn't so much cut a branch as it uh, bends it to the will that it's going to go into two pieces. Uh, so it's not the sharpest thing in the world, but I've also noticed the more that I use it, uh, I think a lot of the uh, the lack of sharpness is also does deals with the fact that this is powder coated. So I think they designed it, they powder coated it, and the powder coating kind of dulls the edge a bit because the more I've used this, the kind of the more jagged it, uh, the, the saw feels. So um, I think with more using, you might actually have a, a saw, but this thing is, um, is, is kind of cool actually. <laughs> if there is a way to, uh, a, a shovel could be cool because one, you've got this 90 degree turn. You can turn this thing into, uh, set it like that and all of a sudden not just a shovel but it's a trencher and I mean you can really get in there and do some power digging you can make a make a ditch so if you wanted to have a have a row of a, a line of fire or something you could do that there's uh, you want to have a long latrine or, or you, just for digging that is a I mean for power digging that is just great but it also works good if you are climbing a fairly steep hill and you need to have an extra uh, something to dig into. You can actually just take this and slam that into you know into the uh, the ground ahead of you and use that as something to pull you up with. 
Um, also, and you're going to see later on in the video, you can actually take this and, you know, if you needed to climb, climb something higher, you could actually attach a rope to this, throw it up, uh, you know, up into a tree and it, it'll get snagged on something. And you can actually use it to bring down light, uh, light branches, uh, dead branches in the tree, or if you need to scale it up to, uh, to escape, I don't know, a bear or something, which bears, most of them can climb also. So, uh, don't know why you'd want to trap yourself in a tree with a bear, but um, you can throw this up in the, uh, uh, you can actually use that to hold you up. And I'm not a, as you're going to see, like I said, I'm not a skinny person <laughs> and it held me very well and very solidly. It wasn't, uh, wasn't like, it felt like something was going to let go because like I said, I was stressing these. I, I was out to stress these brand, uh, these uh, uh, these rivets, and uh, they everything on there is still it's they're still tough. They're still together. I'm I, I'm tickled on how how well this uh, this this little shovel, and I was able to buy it at Walmart for you know about twelve bucks. Uh, I've seen them as low as uh, as ten. Um, and I have seen this particular, the Ozark Trail brand of, of shovels, I've seen them as expensive as 20. So they, they, they vary depending on where you're shopping and stuff, but uh, you don't have to have a, an Ozark brand. They are, there are several other brands out there that are just as sturdy um, as, as that. Or if you wanted to, I bet you you could. I bet you if you wanted to, you could probably also grab something that is just as strong, maybe even stronger, by going over to uh, the local, um, going over to uh, your local Army Supply. Uh, great place to get some inexpensive uh, camping equipment. Is is that's that's a pro tip right there if you ever wanted one. Um, go get yourself a. Uh, uh, go to the Army Supply Store. I know that there's the closest one I've been able to find for me in this my area is over in Hinton, um, and it works. <laughs> and they they've just got all sorts. Uh, you want Russian gas masks? <laughs> you pick them up there. It's, he has got some amazing things over there. So, but anyhow, um, so what have I? What what is my overall view on this? overall view is you have to have one of these things and not just because it's cool but the utilitarian uh use of of this is uh, is a must um there are a couple places that uh, a couple items on here that i would say you want and want to keep an eye out um like i said i've only been i've been spending a few days just seeing what i can do on stressing the the uh, the rivets on here, and the rivets are surprisingly holding, but there's, uh, that is one weak area. One, uh, some of the other weak areas is um, the pivots here. They are all just hex, hex heads with, uh, with a Loctite uh, nut on there. Um, and then the other is, let's see here, yeah, we're loose as we can, is the, uh, if you, uh, yeah, you can see that, is the, the shaft here is spring loaded, all right? So it always pushes up against the, uh, the handle, but eventually that's, that spring is gonna to have to wear out. So uh, you're, those are the three, three or four main areas that you, three main, well, no, there's four, because there's two pivots and then there's the, uh, the spring. So there's, that's, those are the four main areas you're going to want, want to kind of keep an eye on, and they're going to just show wear. Uh, that's going to be the places that you're going to show, see the wear the most. Um, the uh, construction, material-wise, the the blade itself, it is made uh, of steel, uh, of a, a lot harder metal, I'm assuming, steel. Uh, it's powder-coated, um, and... Uh, Held together with uh, with three rivets that are then connected to uh, to the shaft, and the shaft is every, the shaft itself. I think the middle uh, uh, the bar that actually holds everything together. I think is also a uh, high, higher quality. It's not uh, 
it's not aluminum um, like the handle is. The handle itself is aluminum. Uh, but it's just, it's a, it's a good, it, it's something you need in your gear uh, kit for sure because it's, the, the usefulness of this, it far exceeds uh, what you need. Now, what, what are your, uh, uh, what all can you do with this? Uh, one, it packs up nice small. I think uh, when I measured this, I think it's a little over 10 inches when it's folded up. So it's small. It's, it does have a bit of weight though. So uh, you ultralight guys, sadly, you, you also want to have something like this. Don't go for a cheap, you know, aluminum bladed item that's going to bend the first time you hit a hit a rock or some extra hard dirt um, weight wise I don't know if I had to guess probably four or five pounds but uh, the fact that it folds up nice and small and then opens up to being about 24 25 inches long from the tip of the blade to the end of the handle is um, is a is a not is not long. It's not an excessively large uh, piece of equipment, but it does do the job. Uh, it uh, it will uh, it will dig into from soft dirt into fairly hard dirt. It'll also, but it'll it'll clear out soft dirt uh, like it's like it's an excavator. <laughs> it's um, the. Now, one of the things I want to say about these is, like, or like I was saying about one of these, is versatility-wise, what can you do with this thing, especially with uh, all the extra bits? Well, you've got the shovel. No, nope. you've also, if you need to whack something, it. That's a that's a good brainer right there. You just, pong, and it'll it, you'll do some do some damage. You can get some extra force in there if you want to be able to swing it around. I don't know how effective uh, of a hit that's going to be. It'll definitely get someone's attention. But um, you also have um, the uh, the saw. And I found out I, I, as I was messing with this, um, you could probably, and I, I didn't realize this until after I did my sawing de demonstration, I did it like this, sawing like, like that. And I actually found kind of just standing around farting around with it if you actually fold it up and over and then lock it into place like this you're actually going to be easier it'll actually go a little easier on the sawing because you've now got a front handhold so as you're sawing and you're going back and forth you can get a push and pull instead of just you know trying to hold on to the handle and pull you've actually got a you can actually physically push backwards so um you've got you got the saw form um and you can you, you can use that as just a tighten that up a little bit so it doesn't clank clank around. But uh, you got a little better uh, swing in form uh, again as a you could probably use it as a weapon or uh, or a crusher if you needed a you know you got a rabbit or something you need to brain the rabbit you can smack it with that. <laughs> There's uh, and then you've got. Uh, bring it up just a little bit more you've got your trench which also acts as uh, kind of a grappling hook so you can like I said you can use it to dig into a side if you're trying to climb up a really steep hill you can you can use that to, to get a, some extra handhold um, also uh, great for uh, for trenching that's what I uh, at first I thought you could dig with it or you could trench with it and that would be the extent uh, and after playing with it, there's so much more to do that uh, usefulness that you can get out of a uh, out of a out of a uh, a folding camping shovel. That uh, it has this has definitely been placed on the you must must have if you're going to go camping, um, especially if you're going backwoods camping. Uh, if you're just going to uh, pitch a tent and hang out by uh, by a fire circle. It uh, then you know you may not need this. It's still I would have it with me just because this comes in handy. It's uh, one of the uh, one of the better purchases for for such a few amount of dollars that I have, and it will be de be used on each uh, and every other of the camping trips that I make coming up this year. So anyhow, 
So, like I said, uh, you are you're able to saw, and I'm fixing. Well, let's go ahead and let's go over and let's look at the uh, uh, at the sawing on this, and then we'll jump over to showing me hanging around like a monkey, and then we'll sh close the rest of this up. All right, so uh, let's go. All right, now something that about this uh, one thing you will notice when it comes to this particular uh, the shovel is you've got first. A little set of bumpies right here and then something over here on the side and it looks like a dang saw and believe it or not it's actually supposed to be a saw uh, it's not I'm gonna let you know it's not the sharpest saw in the world um, it uh, but it will do it will cut a, a branch I and um, if you're in a hurry and you forgot your uh, your bow saw or you forgot uh, your chain, uh, you you know, a pull saw of some sorts, uh, and you need to get some wood kind of cut. Uh, you can do it with this. You're going to get yourself one heck of a workout. Make sure you pack some gloves with this because you're going to be you're going to be actually working yourself uh, pretty good. Because like I said, the the teeth on this are are the, uh, if you want to know what dull means that <laughs> is dull but uh, apparently it's sharp enough it'll actually cut through a uh... now if I come up here and I show you see it it really it just kind of enforces it. <laughs> it more it enforces its will upon the stick more than actually cutting it it just kind of says you're going to split and uh, and wears it down so it's you're not going to get the most efficient cut, but if you need to get something chopped down, it will chop down. Uh, it will you can saw through it or somewhat saw through it, but uh, it does the saw. But uh, the saw does work, so um, somewhat, <laughs> partially, kinda, sorta. In a way, uh, it it is. Uh, it is a functioning saw. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, anyhow, there you. Uh, you can. It's it, everything on this. It, it's supposed to be there for a purpose. Like I said, I'm not sure what the bumpies part is, uh, but uh, it is there for a reason. Um, but it's the saw, the blade, everything else about this. It works good. So let's see how it works with digging. <laughs> hey, but, all right, folks. So uh, first off, pardon the overgrown yard. I, I, just getting home. I've taken uh, t doing my priority of videos instead of mowing the lawn. So, but anyhow, uh, when it comes to digging, the uh, Ozark Trail folding shovel does a, a good job, at least when it comes to soft ground now I've got if you can see I, my ground is almost absurdly soft so I can sit here without pressure and put in and it definitely you're able to break it up and oh, hey there's a worm oh well you can actually um, dig a hole quite quickly now the other thing that I really like about the shovel is the fact that you can actually turn it and you can turn into a, a rather uh, efficient trencher because you can, yeah, you can dig and stuff. But if you go like this, you can just get in there and just really churn up some dirt. So if you're you're wanting to make a campfire fairly quickly, you can get in there and just eat that that dirt up in no time flat, and you can have yourself a good deep hole ready to actually just throw some wood in and uh and start a fire so i i like the uh i'm, I'm quickly i'm realizing the utility of this uh of the folding shovel uh one of the big things that i'm uh, uh wanted was just because whenever me and uh, my son went out to went out to actually do uh, some camping this uh, a couple weekends ago 
quickly found out trying to dig a hole with a sharp stick, caveman style, first off, sucks. Because one, the, the point wears out. Two, you don't get very deep in most uh, most soil conditions. Uh, so you need to have something that is a lot uh, tougher and is actually meant to actually dig a hole. So, uh, so that's what this is. Uh, does a great job for doing. Um, uh, there are other uh, there are other benefits to actually uh, having uh, having this. And like I said, it's rugged, made in China. I understand. That's, I keep I talk about China and like it's a bad thing because they have an, you things are known to be rather. Uh, Rather inexpensive, <laughs> expensively made when it comes to uh, comes to a a product, but uh, when it comes to being manufactured in China. But luckily, um, people are slowly figuring out that uh, it's not a, not a bad uh, bad deal at all. So it's when it comes to versatility, uh, it's good. It comes to strength, well, that's going to be something that shows up down the road uh right now i am not seeing any i've kind of i've gone through and i've actually kind of banged this on on stuff just to see if i could loosen these at all uh these three uh rivets at all and so far no they're holding they're holding pretty good uh granted i'm not you know doing a hulk smash or anything like that on them but uh all those everything i've put it through so far is working um, it's been hold together. It's staying strong. It's still sturdy. So there you go. Um, you can also one other thing that you can do is uh, is actually take it take this and you can if you take it and you put it into the 90 uh, on that 90 you can actually use this for uh, climbing if need be. You can actually tie a rope to the end and I'll show you that right now. All right. So. Um, the camping shovel is actually not a uh, not a bad piece of equipment to actually have. I've been uh, messing around with it actually all day today, just uh, getting ready for this review, and it for being and I, I know I'm, I harp on this a lot, but being made in China, it's actually not a bad deal. It, I mean, Ozark Trail, yeah, okay, they're they they have the the habit of being in Walmart. Walmart known for being cheap. I mean, we used to, as kids, used to call to anything from Walmart, Walmart fall apart. Um, but there's people are making uh, advances all the time on how to get better. All right, so it it's I'm liking. How sturdy it is though like i mentioned it's the i wish they this was fastened uh welded on instead of just being done by rivets but at the moment i mean you wouldn't want to use it all the time but it does have the ability to hold you and i'm i'm a fat man as you just saw <laughs> so it's not a bad it, it's a it's a fairly rugged piece of uh piece of camping equipment a, a really needed piece of camping equipment and see that would be one of the actual issues I wish there was a quicker way to lock the uh, the spring-loaded uh, collar uh, wish there was a better way of, of locking it down a lot quicker because I mean I understand this, the the screwing on part there's a uh, there's a definite advantage and I see why they did that just really wish there was a different way because you'll sit there and you'll get that you'll get your one part to fall down and then you've got to go just a little bit further to get it to lock all the way back and then when you do that everything falls in so and most of the time people are kind of in a hurry guys you know guys if you're gonna unscrew it all the way that way you know you can do the really cool part it's you're gonna want to uh you're gonna to want to make sure it's unscrewed all the way here. You're gonna you're gonna look kind of like a doofus, like I just was a moment ago, where you're like clunk, and it only opens halfway. But um, 
I, I, I can't help but play with this darn thing. It's, uh, and it, like I said, it's in a, uh, at the beginning. This is a needed piece of equipment uh, for for everything that I, I mentioned before. You've got so much, uh, so many times you need to dig something, whether it's a, a, a small, shallow latrine or a deep latrine in soft dirt, so that you uh, are able to use the restroom without leaving uh, evidence behind, uh, or if uh, like. When I went out camping for the first time, we went out in the middle of, uh, we went, me and my son did a little backwoods camping and uh, <laughs> quickly found out we need a shovel. Um, but I was not going to walk around, walk around for, you know, we went about, I don't know, maybe three quarters to a mile in, back. Uh, well, no. Yeah, yeah, it took us about, it was about a, three quarters of a mile on the trail to where we set up camp. And um, carrying so, carrying a big old you know a big old shovel would have been very impractical. This makes it a lot more practical. There are other styles of, of camping shovels out there, um, and they all basically do the same thing. You've got a screw on. You've got a you've got uh, a screw on portion that uh, is where it locks everything together, and uh, it folds down to being just a nice tight compact so there you go um it it is good it it useful there are so many different things that uh because of the configuration that you can either lock it into it at a 90 degree or have it out straight great thing get yourself one uh as i'm going to recommend the heck out of it because like i said i found out that you really want to have a uh, uh, have a have a uh, little camping shovel, folding camping shovel, because they're they're pretty they're pretty handy. So anyhow, there you go. I don't like the way I ended that. So get yourself a folding uh, camping shovel because you're going to thank yourself later on. It's, it's got a little bit of extra weight, but that weight comes in handy. So get yourself, get, get a hand, get one, whether you want to use the link, uh, uh, link below in the, in the description, or you want to go and, uh, buy a different brand, get a folding, uh, camping shovel. It will save you time it will save your back so uh so get one <laughs> that's all i can really say i'm i'm, I'm a fan of uh, uh i'm gonna be highly recommending and that is definitely a a must have on your uh, uh on your camping list is a folding camping shovel if you unless you want to carry a full-size shovel and if you do more power to you but this one here has got a lot of power in it all right so anyhow I'm Brian for Relaxed Mail uh, Reviews, and uh, this is uh, the the Ozark Trail uh, folding camping shovel. Get yourself one. Later.